we officially now have a release date for the upcoming Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse digital release, along with the confirmation of the Blu-ray slash 4K, which will release on September 5th, you will be able to purchase Across the Spider-Verse digitally on August 8th. So just a reminder, a digital release date is on digital platforms, whether it's Google Video, Amazon, whatever they have, uh, Voodoo, iTunes, whatever. That's what we're talking about here. We are not talking about a release date on Netflix or something like that where you can watch as part of your membership. We're talking about a digital purchase that's going to cost you between $20 and $30 before the film comes out on physical home media. Now, this, of course, is a good way for them to get a little bit more money before they drop it on physical, where they have to take bigger cuts from distribution and all that. And, of course, when you really think about it, this is now becoming the more preferred way to watch things as people are not wanting to clutter their homes and all that, which, again, makes sense to me. The big thing here for me is what sort of special features can we expect? What's going to be included? Are we getting audio commentaries or anything like that? Like, there's already some uh, things that have been revealed in terms of what we're going to get on the Blu-ray, but nothing for these digital releases. I'm hoping it's not really a bare-bones release, because that always kind of ticks me off. Like, you want us to spend $20 to $30 a month before we get it on physical, and it includes far less, sometimes nothing additional. That really kind of, um, I, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing to me. So... Let's hope that there's good news in regards to this, because I know many people are going to buy it. They're going to want to rewatch it. They want to add it to their digital portfolio collections, and some are going to wait for physical and use the key that comes with it. Let's just hope that there's some, you know, uh, good features on it. And let's hope that the picture is crystal clear and uh, high quality on streaming, or if you download it digitally, you know, obviously that's the best quality. But let's hope that they're not compressing it a good amount, because I've seen that as a problem recently with some releases. I don't know if it's on specific servers or whatever, but some people have reported that their quality gets rather uh, digitized, like that, like lost, you know, the squarey look to it. How do you describe it? Can't really describe it. It's not a feature in this film if it happens because it's just digital loss, which has happened with some recent releases. Could be attributed to HDR or who really knows.